All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory. Be to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and truth, in the hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. And as you can see on the screen, I just wanted to do a quick video on this one here. You know, um, this is from. Uh, gbnews.com all right uh, this particular article that i'm about to go into uh, was put up on the 16th of august 2023 all right which 2023 has been coined the year you know that we hope that all these prophecies will come to pass that's you know the year of hope you know that we hope that we these prophecies will come to pass man and um you know one of the major prophecies that we're waiting for you know, to pop off is um, the MOTB, you know, because the sooner, you know, Esau comes out there with the MOTB, because these people, look at these people with their masks and stuff, you know, they're, they're pretty much dancing to the devil's tune already, you know, a lot of these people, you know, lined up to take the thing, you know, and, um, you know, Esau is pretty much scaring the shit out of these people, um, introducing a problem to the world, um, but coincidentally, he has the, uh, or conveniently, is the word I wanted, wanted to use. You know, he always has a solution for the problem. And um, and there's a reason why he always has, he seems to have the solution for the problem. You know, um, whether it be vials stacked up, whether it be uh, uh, measures, you know, of lockdowns being put in place. These things have already been thought about, thought up. They got think tanks. Um, and ultimately, we're waiting for you know, the next major crisis, which is going to pretty much beat these people into even more submission. And when I say beat these people into submission, I'm talking about to the point where to establish normality in their lives again, they'll do anything, um, even to go as far as receiving the mark of the beast, which is the microchip spoken of in Revelation 13 and 16. And that's exactly what Esau is going to do. All right. And he's going to push it as... um you know, it being convenient for your life, okay? But we know better because the scriptures tell us um, in Surah 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy, all right? So we're to never, you know, trust, you know, our top enemy, which is the nation of Esau Edom, first and foremost. So we have to call him out, you know, and he definitely is the enemy of the nation of Israel, okay? And that's why he was so hot on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. He was so hot on you receiving you know, the um, the needle, all right, in the first place, because they have an agenda, all right, and they want to kill you, you know, Israelites off, and for all you Jakes out there that trust in your enemy, um, you know, you got short memories, okay, um, you're going on like this devil, this same devil didn't put your ancestors in slavery, okay, which was you coming back through the reincarnation if you can receive it, all right, and having the flesh ripped off your back, you know, uh, picking cotton, picking, you know, uh, pressing the sugar cane on certain islands like over there in Jamaica. You know, our people suffered hardcore bondage under the hand of our top enemy, which is Esau. That's why the scripture says to never trust him. You know, he has a perpetual hatred against us. That's in Amos 1 and 11. You know, in fact, let me go to, um, in fact, before we get Amos 1 and 11, let me keep reading this. It says, for as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Yeah, when you've got rust on a piece of metal, like an iron or something, you know, that rust is going to be there. It ain't going away. And that's just like his wickedness. It's stuck to this devil. The scripture says in Daniel 12 and 10, that the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. So Esau has been set up to, to do wicked on the earth. Don't the scriptures tell us again in Sirach 33, that good is set against evil. All right. That's balance. You know, where the righteous, he's the wicked. All right, and everything's created in perfect balance, right? Um, that's the blueprint that the Heavenly Father has set up. Okay, good set against evil, you know, the godly against the sinner. I'm loosely paraphrasing. Verse 11, though he humble himself and go crouching. Yeah, just because he puts a suit on, just because he can make a, a speech on a podium, all right, just because he can walk around in high-waisted jeans and, a, and a, with a shirt on and some new balances, you know, like like Bill Gates, you know, just because they seem, um, 
you know, to to have that. Uh, uh, what well, the scriptures speak about, he, he's being transformed into an angel of light. You know, they come with that humble approach. But remember, you got to take heed, right? Yet take good heed and beware of him. All right. And thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. All right. Because you can't get rid of that wickedness, man. Just like rust on iron. You can't get rid of his wickedness. He can't get rid of his wickedness. The Lord has created him to be the wicked. And I spoke about that perpetual hatred. Okay, because you see this article right here, this new variant um, leads scientists to demanding, you know, rules from lockdown be reimposed on Britain. All right, and, and this devil, he's gone this far already that you, you going on like, this is no longer a, con, well, you, you call it a conspiracy theory. But how can it be a conspiracy theory, which the word conspiracy just means to breathe together? When this man's already done it, he's already shown you what he can do and how far he can go. All right. He's already put you under house arrest. Okay. He's already shown you all right, how he can flex that sword all right, at any given time, how he can impose curfews, how he can impose you not being able to leave your homes and tell you how many times you're allowed to leave your homes and what you're allowed to leave your homes for. You know, this devil has shown you how far he can go with this. All right. This is the new variant dubbed BAX. All right, has allegedly been recorded in two countries so far um, and has caused scientists to demand that Britons start wearing fa uh, face masks again. So you running around these cities looking like Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat, you know, because this devil told you to slap that mask over your face. I mean, come on, man. You know, at this late in the game, at this point in the game, at some point, man, you know, but this, but this is a, this ain't for everybody, man. You know, faith, faith kicks in for the elect. You know, faith don't kick in for those that are not of the elect. Faith has not been given to those that are not of the elect to receive this truth. All right, and ultimately, we know why this devil is 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 pretty much threatening the public, threatening the people, you know, and beating them into submission through fair tactics. Is because he has an NWO agenda that he wants to fulfill. He wants these people to be completely submissive to that agenda, which is for them to receive the MOTB. All right. And again, that shows you that this man has a perpetual hatred. He ain't, he ain't stopping, you know, he ain't stopping at all. Okay. He wants, you know, he wants this NWO fulfilled. Okay. Um, Amos chapter 1, verse 11. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword. And Esau's blessing is a sword. And, and Jake, you know, you're going to find out that that sword is being sharpened, man, while you were out here partying and bullshitting, you know, and investing in this fucking theme park that Esau's got set up for you with that Monopoly money, doing anything to, to make that almighty dollar, doing anything to get the pounds, to get the, to get the stacks. You know, Jake B. Took out, I'm stacking, I'm stacking. You know, the scripture speak about the love of money is the root of all evil and that no man can serve two masters. You can't serve the most high and mammon, which is money. You can't serve, you see, either you're going to love the one and hate the other. See, the Lord, we're, we're in a time where the Lord is looking for true worshippers to worship him. You know, and the true worshippers that worship Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai understand who Esau Edom is, understand that he has a perpetual hatred against us and that he's pursuing us with the sword even to this day. All right. And it goes on to say, and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually. So he's angry. OK, and he's directing that anger towards you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians, man. And why do you think he's using all these fair tactics? Because he wants to have you. C H I W P E D. All right. That's what he wants you to receive. You know, your badge of servitude, man. Okay. And kept his wrath forever. All right. So this is what Esau is showing to our people. And that's why, man, no matter how slick he comes, we can't trust this devil. Because remember, um, his nature is to be very, very deceptive. All right. The scriptures tell us in um, Psalm 58. And free, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Okay? 
they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So how are you going to listen to a man that was born to actually speak lies to you? How are you going to trust in, in a man that's, that's known as the wicked on the earth, that's actually born, as soon as they're born, they're born speaking lies in the earth? You know, and this is what we're here to tell you. We're here to reveal this devil's wicked plans unto you, the, the, the secret counsel of the wicked spoken of in Psalm 64. Okay, that Esau is plotting, you know, to have you Israelites out here, you know, pretty much, you know, chipped. Okay, and if you receive that, which is the hour of temptation, the mark of the beast, there's going to come a time where everyone's going to be tested, man. And if you receive that, then the Lord ain't coming back to save you. You're not of the elect. And you're going to be destroyed. All right. So let's go to, um, before we read that, let me read the rest of this article here. So scientists have urged that the UK may have to reintroduce lockdown rules. Yeah, putting you straight under house arrest again. All right. And you remember, you could cut the tension in the air, you know, with a knife, you know, so to speak, when, you know, you had the first lockdown waves going on and stuff like that. You know, people were snitching on each other. You know, neighbors, you know, uh, telling on one another, you know, you had drones flying over national reserve parks and stuff. And, you know, police were flagging people down on the motorways that were trying to go from one city to another, you know. So that's pretty much like, a, um, what's that, like? basically martial law, if you will. Okay. It says, after a new variant has been recorded in multiple countries. All right, so they're already getting you prepared. And remember, they keep they remember Biden kept talking about a dark winter. See, we're coming back to that winter season again. All right, and they keep talking about a dark winter, man. And it's funny because we were talking about like handmaidens tell type scenarios coming in the near future. All right, and in um in the one in the show that you see, the handmaidens tell. Um, I think it was the newer show because you had you had the film that was made in I think it was nineteen ninety. But then you had uh, the series, you know, the later series that came out. And I think the first scene, you see the woman get separated from her daughter, but it was snowing. All right. Um, and I think she had a man with her and they took the man out. They separated her from her daughter. They were running in the snow and it was winter time. So it could very, very well be a dark winter. that, he, And we can't put it past the devil, man. You know, when you're and they ain't going to care, you know, how, how comfortable you are. If you got your jacket on when they come and rip you out of your home and. You know, if you don't take the MOTB, they got detention centers lined up, you know, for all of those that are going to resist this man's NWO. All right. And like they show you in uh, George Orwell's 1984, they take you to that room 101, that torture chamber, man. You know. It says the new variant dubbed uh, BAX online has allegedly been found in Denmark and Israel. Although this had not been officially confirmed, the scientific community is split. On how to deal with the new one. Okay. And all kinds of complications we, we heard people going through off the back of receiving these things. So again, never trust thine enemy, man. This is Second Corinthians chapter 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we're not supposed to be ignorant of the devices of Satan, and neither are we to fear them. Okay. The scriptures tell us not to fear you know, the man that bringeth wicked devices to pass, right? Let's get uh, Psalms, what was it, 37 and, um, and 7. It says, rest in the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, and wait patiently for him, all right? The scriptures speak about in your patience possess your souls. We, we have to be patient. The word patient means to suffer, right? All right, the scriptures speak about then shall it be known who are the chosen of the Lord. You know, those that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we've got to wait patiently for him. It says, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to part. You see, you know, Esau's got his way all right, on the earth, but he doesn't seem to realize that his way is actually being, has been predetermined by the Most High. Okay, man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? So this man that's bringing wicked devices to part, so ultimately it's not even his device. It's really the Most High's device. All right, the, the Heavenly Father, he's the ultimate scriptwriter. He's the ultimate director on high. Okay, so it's really, when you want to go deeper into it, like the apostles have been teaching us, this is ultimately, this is the most high's chip. All right, the hour of temptation that's going to come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, that's going to come from the most high. 
He's going to be testing us. Our faith is going to be tested. And if we pass the test, that's when we receive salvation. And this is why we know that this prophecy has to, be, has to come first because we have to go through the hour of temptation. We have to pass the ultimate test. And then we're worthy of receiving salvation, you know, through his son, which is Yahweh Shai, who's coming back to deliver us, which is a nomen omen. Yahweh Shai means he, the deliverer, or he, savior, for the elect of the nation of Israel. That's who the Lord's coming back to get. And that's why the scripture says, in your patience, possess you your souls. We've got to patiently wait for Yahweh Shai to come back. You know? The servant ain't greater than the master. Yahweh Shai was patient. Yahweh Shai could have called down 12 legions of angels upon them Romans, but he didn't do that. Upon them wicked ass Israelites. He didn't do that. He was patient. Okay? Like a lamb. Okay? What does the scripture say about Yahweh Shai? How he surrendered himself? Was it Isaiah chapter 53? It's been a while since I've read this one. Um... Isaiah 53 and 7. Really the whole chapters from the top is good. But I just want to get straight to the point here. It says he was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And this is how you know John the Baptist was a man of the Lord. Is a man of the Lord. Because guess what? John the Baptist, he called Yahweh Shai the lamb of God. That's in, You can read that in um, John... Is it... Uh, John 1 and 29. And I think there's another one in verse John 1 and 36. Okay. But he called Yahweh Shai the Lamb of God. And what are we waiting for? The marriage supper of the Lamb. We're supposed to be, you know, making ourselves, you know, ready for Yahweh Shai. He is the bridegroom. We are the bride. All right. And we want to be married to Yahweh Shai, which the word married means joined, joined unto. Okay. We want to be joined with Yahweh Shai when he comes back. Okay, it says, and he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He didn't open his mouth. He was silent, man. He was patient. Okay, yeah, he was afflicted, heavily afflicted. The scripture says his visage was marred more than any man. All right, but Yahweh Shai took it, man. And the reason why I'm going into this is because the scripture speak about in our patience possessing our souls, man. This is Romans chapter 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Alright, so when you see things like this happening, you know, when Esau is moving, really it's the Lord that's making Esau move like this. You know, decree these unrighteous decrees. Push out these draconian measures. Alright, because we know ultimately what his plan is, is pretty much for people to be beaten into submission to the point where they just want normality. They're begging for normality to receive the mark of the beast. All right. Now this new, this new wave of things to pop off out here. We could very well see. Well, I, I was watching the elder apostle Taha earlier. And he did a video in response to elder Malcolma. All right. Talking about how over there you had riots over there. In response to how people couldn't go into the whole food, food store. Unless they had the, um, was it digital ID? And what do you think that's leading to? Which, that's nothing but what? That's, there's a term called gradualism, man. Okay, we're coming to a time where you're going to need, it ain't just going to stop with a digital ID. All right? Really, they want to put that ID inside of you. All that information inside of you. You know, biometrics, okay? Uh, 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 body measurement. Metrics goes back to measurement. Where they measure everything in what's happening inside of you. In fact, every single activity that you have, didn't they have that pattern? Uh, the, what's it, the W06006, you know, where they can measure your body activity and, you know, you can gain currency through body activity and so on and so forth. There was that pattern that had, had been floating around about a year ago, wasn't even too long ago. All right, so you best believe, man, that, and like they show you that in Black Mirror. You remember that guy, um, they were on a treadmill and that, and they, they were working up, the, you know, on a treadmill, they were, make, they were earning credits being on a treadmill. You know, and they had to save up and what they could save, they can get from a vending machine or whatever. You know, so they're showing you that's predictive programming. OK, putting it in their show, showing you what they plan to do, man. All right. And in, in these these shows that Esau pushes out, like these Black Mirror episodes and that and whatever, they always show you that people, you know, pretty much Esau has everything on lock 
to the point where he has total control over the people. Even in the movies, like Hunger Games, we had certain districts. Again, lockdowns. That's like putting things on in, dist in certain districts, just like Hunger Games, man. All right, or In Time with Justin Timberlake. All these movies should come to mind. Okay, um, Second Ezra's chapter 15. You know, and we filter these movies and these scenes through the scriptures. Ultimately, it's about the scriptures, man. You know, ultimately, these scriptures should come to mind. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's lockdown right there. A man desiring to go into a city. Over there in China, they were flowing, flying uh, drones over tower blocks. You know, and they had mics on them and they were telling people to resist their urge for freedom. You know, and what happened over there in China, certain parts of Australia, uh, Melbourne, that's just a, a trailer of what's going to come to all these major cities around around the globe, man. So we're waiting for this to happen, you know, patiently. We can see what Esau's got planned. We can see the sword is being sharpened. We can see this, you know, these stadiums being turned into concentration camps, just like they show you in that movie Kinsman, Golden Circle. You had that major virus in that movie. And, you know, Poppy had the cure in the movie. And then guess what they had? People that had the, 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 the virus, they were locked up in a, in a concentration camp in a fucking stadium. And I've done a couple of videos on that scene before. All right. Again, predictive programming. Again, filtering it through this verse. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Esau ain't going to give no fucking that day. Okay, the scripture says they're going to be like madmen sparing none, grabbing people up, putting you in these detention centers, torturing you. You don't, oh, you don't want to take the chip? You don't want to take the mark of the beast? Off of your head. Hey, some of us are going to be put to death, lose our heads for this truth. But that's okay, because the scripture says the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. It's spiritual, the time is 1404. All right? Hey, the 144,000, you, you best believe, man, the, the governing body, the tabernacle of David, they ain't taking no chip. All right, none of the members of the elect are taking a chip. And how do we know that? The scriptures speak about if it's not possible to, to deceive the very elect. Even though when this man slides out of the womb, he's, he goes astray speaking, speaking lies as soon as he's born. Like we just read in uh, Psalms 58, they can't deceive the elect. It's not possible for the elect to be deceived. Okay, Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false anointed and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay, and Esau's going to push out that, that chip like it's a, a great wonder. Okay, he's going to be pushing them false miracles on the left-hand side. Oh, we, we can make someone walk again, see again. All right, through the technology of the chip. All right, oh, we hooked him up to an exoskeleton suit. How do you think he's able to move his limbs, his robotic limbs? You know, he's connected to the chip. That's the internet of things. That ain't nothing but a Frankenstein creation, man. All right? Because we know, hey, according to faith, great levels of faith that Peter and John, them, they, they showed in Acts, the third chapter, the man, the lame man from, from, from his mother's womb, the man lame. All right? He couldn't walk. He was laid at the gate of the beautiful every day. That upon the name of Yahweh Shai, they called upon in great levels of faith. This man's immediately, his ankle bones received strength. And he started praising Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. What exoskeleton suit did they need? None. All they needed was the faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And that's why it's not possible to deceive the very elect. Because the elect believe in Acts the third chapter. The elect believe in the whole role. The elect believe in this truth. They believe in biblical prophecy. They believe that the mark of the beast is the chip. You know? So this, this is it, man. And hopefully, man, they really, really take it to a whole new level, you know, with this new variant. Hopefully they go all the way with it. Hopefully it don't fucking calm back down. Hopefully it just, because we're hastening the day, man. The faster Esau moves with his MOTB, because we know that we know that he's going to move with great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. The scriptures tell us that in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Alright? And all the signs that we are at the end of this man's society, his rulership, 
The signs are all over the place, man. The wars, the rumours of wars, the earthquakes in diverse places. Shit, you had California. They had an earthquake in the midst of a tropical storm. You know? So all these things, I think there was Hurricane Hillary that was, was set to go and hit. Category 4 hurricane that was set to hit LA. All right, California. But then I think it got downgraded just to just a, a tropical storm. All right, but they're still saying that it's going to be catastrophic damage, man. All right, in addition to earthquakes. What about what happened with Turkey? 50,000 people dead. All right, what about Maui? What about little, little Maui? Okay, you got Big Maui, which is America, you know? Hey, I'll apostle to hardcore in that. America's Big Maui. But you got little Maui. What happened to little Maui, man? You see that 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 scene where the helicopter was or, or plane was flying over this you know the fire in Maui, man. It looked like just pure hell, and destruction and death. They're still saying that just under a thousand people are missing. So people are getting taken the fuck out, man, on the planet right now as we speak. You know, people's uh, fight or flight is kicking in right now. Adrenaline pumping right now. You you know, but you know ultimately only the elect are gonna understand this. The wicked of our people, they're going to keep walking around and, you know, acting like everything's good. The scriptures speak about when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them, man. As Esau comes down with great wrath, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel his wrath. You know? And you're going to be defenseless. But as for the elect, you know, we're going to be protected, man. The scriptures tell us that in Psalms 34 and 7. And let's close out on this scripture. All right? Psalms chapter 34, verse 7. The angels of the Lord... Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. If you are out here in that YOLO, do as thou wilt spirit, you, you're not fearing the Lord. You don't show that you fear the Lord. You come across this word, you fan your hand at it, you chat shit about the prophets. You know, you ain't fearing the Lord. You ain't trying to get right. The scripture says, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Alright? But that's okay. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna be destroyed? Go ahead, man. Okay, what is it? Uh, Hosea 5. And, uh, is it 5? 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. You know? How you seek the face of the Lord? Through his, his, his mouthpiece on the earth, his prophets. All right? Teaching his word. All right? The Lord said, look, till you acknowledge your offense and seek his face, in their affliction, they will seek me early. Yeah, when the trouble comes, when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, that's when you're going to be seeking the Lord. That's when you're going to want answers, man. There's a crying for wine in the streets, right? The truth, knowledge. Isaiah 24 goes into that. But in that time, it's going to be too late. Famine of hearing of the word is, is upon us, man. Esau shutting down. Jay Rockefeller, he came out and said the internet was the worst thing we ever did creating that, you know? Well, ultimately, you see, even that statement shows that Esau's not even in control because the internet was created mainly for this truth to be pushed out. And through the internet, man, this, this devil's kingdom has been ripped apart, man. All his strongholds are being pulled apart. All his lies are being exposed. All right? So this is the truth, man. We are definitely at the end, you know? I just wanted to do a video. I kind of jumped around all over the place, but that's all right, man. That's, you know, the spirit... Lord Willett was edifying anyway, you know. But, you know, we hope that they really take it up a, a whole new level, a whole new gear, you know, with this. Um, and it could very, very well happen, you know, get turned up as we see the end of this year closing in, you know. So, um, you know, and, and the response to this this chaos, you know, they the, got that phrase, auto ab chaos, man, order through chaos, man. Remember, the new world order, that's what they want to establish. So with that, I pray you were edified, man. Till the next time, I'm going to say Shalom.